Hello, everyone. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be here today and share my knowledge. So before I start, let me introduce myself uh, in case if you don't know me. My name is Mayil Hadri. Uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia, Middle East, and um, I have been graduated with computer engineering bachelor uh, degree and I have five years experience with different companies and I started my journey to be as a power addict and recently I get the MVP award. If you want to reach me out, I'm super active on Twitter, LinkedIn. Also, I have a lot of videos on YouTube. I'm going to share the link within the chat, so feel free to reach me out at any time. So today what we will learn and what I will share with you something really cool and uh, I'm applying this process on my daily basis to all my application. Uh, actually, before we start building any application, let us ask ourselves, what do I need to do before building the application? In my session today or in our session today, I'm going to go through a different uh, area that uh, cover how we can follow a really a cool process. And it's from value proposition Canvas app. From this one, I, cover, I, I will give you a book overview. Also, I'm going to cover the customer profile. And there is an area between the customer profile and value map, which is we call it fit. And if you have any question, feel free to, to ask within the chat at any time. So. Let me give you a quick overview about the book. Value proposition design actually will help you uh, to face the core challenge for any business that we are dealing with. Like if you are building an application, if you are building uh, any dashboard. So this book will help you to understand what kind of a process that you need to follow before doing any, any application, any dashboard, anything that you are working on it. So the question here, who can read this book or who can follow this process? Actually, value proposition design is for everyone and anyone has been frustrated by any new application, any new product. So I'm going to refer the product to be as an application because uh, my always I'm using uh, to build an application and this is the main product that I'm working on it. So this uh, book actually it's written by Alex uh, and Eve Greek and Alan Smith and Trish, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing their name correctly, but I hope so. So also they wrote another book, they call it, um, uh, let me remember, it's like a business uh, generation. It's similar to the concept of this one, but they are focusing on uh, the business generation model design. Actually the book, it's like they have four main chapters and uh, they have uh, uh, the first one, which is we will talk about it today about the canvas and they have the second chapter about design how you can design your application or your product and the third chapter it's about test your application or your product and evolve the value proposition canvas actually has two sides with the customer first with the customer profile you can clarify your customer understanding also they have a value map which is you can describe how you create a value for that customer and between two sections, which is I will show it to you as a as an infographic, how you can reach each section and where you can start. And between two sections, we have an area we call it fit, which is when the two uh, sections are meet to each other. The question here, why we use this uh, value proposition canvas process? Why do we need to use it? So as per the book, actually, there is the three main, uh, main reasons why we, I, we need to use this uh, process. First, actually, you can identify your customers, your end user, what they are working on, what, they, what kind of a challenge they are facing, what kind of things that you can help your end user to achieve. This is the first reason. Second one, actually, you can visualize the value you create. It means you can define the most important components of your offering like if you are using a, an application a dashboard you can show them like how the automation process will help them in their daily basis and the third reason actually you can achieve the product market fit this is the the graph of the customer uh, or the the value proposition canvas and if you look at it here actually we have two main sections the first one customer profile and the second one, a value map. And I'm going to share with you the link later on that you can uh, download this graph. And if you are working on any application or any project, you can apply it. You can apply this process to your uh, to your project. 
So, but now let us go in more details about each section and what should we add here or what kind of things that I need to focus on it. So if we uh, let's start with the customer profile. So customer profile actually segments in your business model in more structured detail, they divide it to be as a three main things we have a customer jobs we have a pains they're like what kind of a challenge they are facing and what kind they are looking for so customer profile but now i will go through one by one of things that we need to add and more about your customer you need to to list here the key tasks your target customer have to complete like uh, jobs to uh, describe the things that your customer are uh, trying to get done in their work so for example if they are facing any any challenge or anything why so you need to understand more uh, of their jobs what they are doing or this is like a sticky note or you can print it out add it to your whiteboard or you can use a digital whiteboard and add it there and add your notes near to this area second one within the customer profiles actually we have a customer pains which is the most important things because when when you want to give a product or you want to give an application or uh, the automation process to your end user you need to make that you, really, uh, you remove their, uh, their so what I need to do you need to list that means the people uh, their experience like what kind of a challenge they are facing and to get their job done like what kind of uh, annoying thing they have before or maybe during or after trying to get their job done so also you need to to list here what kind of risk they are, are uh, facing this is for the second one which is a customer profile here we need to focus on the value, the customer gains. Here, actually, the gains describe the outcomes and the benefits your customer wants, so, which is the most important things. What they are looking for, what kind of things that they are waiting from you to deliver to them. And just list it out here by, uh, like, while we are doing a meetings, a meetings with your customer or your end user, you will be able to fill this area. And from there, you will complete the first section from the value proposition canvas, which is customer profile. Now, you need to move from customer profile to the second one, which is value map. And within value map, actually here, you will focus more about or what kind of things that you need to describe here, the features of a specific value proposition in your business models. And here, actually, it's more structured and in more detail way. And if you look at it here, actually, we have three main points. We have a product or service. In our example, it's like an application. Uh, because the product that I'm using in, uh, in like in a weekly basis or every time it's an application and all the power platform tools. Second, you need to think about the gain creators and the pain relievers for your uh, customer. So let's just start with the first one, which is the, uh, the product and services. Here you need to list out the, the ideas like what kind of things that you can give to your end user like for example if the user come to me like i'm using um uh, the, uh, the whiteboard to add my employees there and every time i need to move the asset from the whiteboard by using a paper which is really the, the old way and here i need to think about what kind of solution or what kind of ideas that i can support my end user and i need to list out here for example i'm gonna use a power apps uh, for uh, as an import things uh, i will use a power automate to automate the flow and so on so here you need to list out your products what kind of things that you will use during your uh, your project uh, journey then you need to list out here the pain relievers which is mean you need to think about how you will remove the challenge of the user from the customer profile. They, we already have a list like uh, what kind of a challenge or risk they are facing here. You need to remove this. You need to think about things that will help them to remove it. Third part, which is again, creators here. You need to describe how your project or how your application and uh, the whole process you create to your customer that give them a value focus on those are relevant to the customer and where your product and service can make a difference so this is really cool things because you need to follow this process and 
uh, to avoid any mistake, to avoid any human error while you are building your application, because I really face this problem uh, every time when any uh, any end user come to me that uh, I wanted to have this application. And for me, I'm a power addict, so I will for sure build an application. And uh, I never thought about what kind of step that I need to think about before saying yes to the customer or to the end user. I need to think about uh, things that will help me to avoid the mistake and to understand my end user before building any any application or any dashboard to them. So the last point that we can achieve, which is fit area. So with fit area here, when you have this one done and when you have the value map already done and your customer or the end user happy, you can achieve this area, which is fit area here. So, I can share with you the link. You can download this one from the link. It's free to use. And also, I'm going to share with you the link. Uh, uh, there is a lot of free online sources that will help you to understand more and more. And there is uh, another three chapters actually uh, uh, explain like a design, uh, the, like uh, what kind of uh, steps that you can follow after this uh, uh, value uh, proposition canvas. But now I would like to share with you one video, let me share it just a minute. It's really a cool video that will help you. Let me open it here. Every day, companies design products and services to improve their customers' lives. But 72% of new product and service innovations fail to deliver on expectations. This means that customers don't care about 7 out of 10 new products introduced to the market. It doesn't have to be this way. Just like you create value. Anyway, so I'm going to share with you the link. You can watch it at any time. And also from the same link, you can go there and upload the, the value proposition canvas the what I show it to you. You can print it out. And thank you so much. And if you have any question, and by the way, the session already, I have it on my YouTube channel. You can go there and uh, watch it at any anytime and also there is more three sessions i will uh, do it within my meetup sharing is caring group you can join us at any time so um, feel free if you have any question you can ask now and thank you so much thank you may i have a question for you so as you go through this process yeah. you have a, a lot of information you're gathering right mm -hmm. um what where do you put that information how do you like to work with that and organize that so you can get it to your team so you can all you know, sign off on it with your client and then eventually build it. So uh, actually uh, to get for me, actually, I really like to read a lot of books and uh, every time uh, I like to learn a new thing. So uh, we have within like within our organization, a specific community that we can share our knowledge between each other and uh, as uh, internally and um, to, uh, for the outside community, we have um, I have uh, another side that I'm sharing all the the process, all the things that I learn it. So you can go there and check it at any time, and yeah. I, I was actually meaning like when when you do this process mm. yourself, not not the awesome community mm. stuff you share with uh, them, okay. but like mm -hmm. when you're going through this process, right, and you're identifying okay. these pain points and these other things, where do you and your team like to capture all that information? Is it like in Azure DevOps or do you use Word documents or I, I'm sure some people are thinking like, OK, I, I see this process, but how do I do it? Exactly. So we have a lot of amazing tool actually, uh, like we have like, like a planner, Microsoft planner is still within my organization. They are using uh, Microsoft planner to organize the, their uh, task. And um, for me, actually, I uh, still I prefer to use a planner. It's my favorite tool to uh, to to like uh, to arrange my task also to do list. And this is the most important things. But for the other departments, for sure, they are using a different uh, tool based on uh, their department. So we have uh, like uh, different sources to to organize our uh, tasks and all this stuff. Gotcha. So that's encouraging to hear. So there's not like one right way you have to do yeah, this. It's exactly. more about the principle yeah. of what you're doing and then capture it in places that work for you and your team. Exactly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cool. I see a uh, comment from unknown user in chat. They'd like you to share their link tree. Uh, uh, okay, sure, sure. Let yeah, me share so it just a minute. That would be great. 
Craig chimed in and said they use Teams for their projects and all the documents tied to that project yeah. are in the team. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who pivot that same way. Yeah. Oh, I see the link now. Cool. Thanks again, May. We really Thank appreciate you. you coming on again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.